Hello, 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 and welcome back to Koja Geechee Gal. If this is your first time joining with me, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining. And if you are back again, I'd like to say hello, welcome back, happy new year, and happy Valentine's Day. I missed yesterday because I was just relaxing and spending time with family, but I wanted to wear my red, my daughter did my nails, and I got a little rose and some balloons to celebrate Valentine's Day, and I hope you all had a wonderful and relaxing Valentine's Day. But on today, we are going to do something very simple, very easy, and we all love it. It's cold, it's rainy, a little ice storm on this weekend. We're going to do chicken pot pie. Easy, simple, you just need four or five ingredients, maybe, and some seasonings. And we have our chicken pot pie. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. Let me show you what we're gonna need. Simple, let me tell you, it's so simple. Okay, what, we ha what I have here is a can of uh, chicken breast. I have here a small can of cream of chicken. Then I have here some mixed vegetables. You can actually use frozen vegetables if you like. I have uh, some a uh, one egg that's whipped or that's that's uh, already uh, whipped up, and then I have some pie crust. I have some that was already thawing. You can all you can use um, pie crust that's already you know uh, already simulated, and then I have some seasoning just to season up season it up once we get done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what all you need to do. It's very simple, and you can make it as your own. You can add different vegetables in it, and it's very versatile. So chicken pot pie. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, cream of chicken and I'm just going to put it into the chicken breast, the canned chicken breast. And again, you can use uh, chicken breast that you cook fresh or you can use the can. Either one works. I'm going to go ahead and mix in my vegetables. Now I drained it already. And of course you see the carrots, uh, celery, a little bit of potatoes. And I'm just going to mix, mix, mix. Super simple. Mix it up. Make sure that the cream of chicken is um, incorporated in all of the mixture. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get grab a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to season it to my liking. And all you need is about, maybe about a teaspoon of season oil, about a half teaspoon of, you can use garlic salt or garlic powder. I'm going to use some onion powder. I like onions, so I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in there as well. Get some pepper. Just a few little flakes of pepper. And then I'm gonna stir it up as well. All right, here we go, mixing up. Now, as I told y'all about a year ago, because we are hitting the year mark this week of Koja Geechee Girl. But just like I told y'all last year when we began, I don't measure, I just season. So here we go, we're just gonna season. You just gotta know that you know that you know that it's gonna taste good. But I kinda gave y'all like some estimates but you know, you just gotta feel it, you just gotta love on it, and you just gotta know what it is, and that's season it real good. Okay, so I got that seasoned, I got that going, I'm just gonna set that to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the pie crust. All right, here we go, taking the pie crust out, and I got, just like I said, you can already get the pie crust, it's already um, pre, uh, already on the pan, I guess you can say, but I just got this one and I'm just gonna roll it out and then I'm just going to put it on here. Now look, I like pie crust when it comes to my uh, chicken pot pie, so I don't throw anything away. I know you can make all, everything all nice and fancy, but I like the pie crust. That to me makes the chicken pot pie. So I'm just gonna roll this out and I'm going to do what I like to do. Now I'm gonna get my uh, fork and I'm just gonna punch a few holes in the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and add the mixture into the pie crust. Simple, I'm telling you, simple, easy. We all about making it happen, making it quick. This right here, feed my whole entire family. Add, if you wanna add more vegetables, you can, but everything is in this dish 
where you don't even have to do anything else. I mean, you have your meats, you have your starch, you have your vegetables. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put the top layer on. Okay, so now I'm opening up the second or the top layer. Um, and just like I said, I really do like the pie crust. To me, the pie crust makes the chicken pot pie, so I'm not gonna do too much shaving or moving. I, this, this was frozen, so you know, I'm just going to um, open it up, and hey, it's okay. All you gotta do is just wet it a little bit and fix that. I'm opening it up, it's simple, it's easy. We're going to just lay this right on top. See all that right there? Just gonna lay it right on top, right? And then what I'm gonna do, I have some egg wash here. I'm gonna use that to kind of seal around. So I'm going to get a paper towel. I don't, if you don't have a brush, you can have, get a paper towel and you can just dab it around and then you can just squeeze it. So I'm gonna get a paper towel. I'm gonna to dab the egg wash around. I'm gonna squeeze it together. And, um, and then we'll go ahead and put the slits on top, put an egg wash on top, and then we'll stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, so I have my applicated brush, and I'm gonna show you two different ways. If you do not have an applicated brush, um, we'll show you how to do it with a, a paper towel. So I have the egg wash here, and I'm just gonna put it on the very edge of the uh, pie crust. You see that? And I'm just going to just kind of smash it down. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it with a paper towel. If you don't have all the fancy stuff, there's a will, there's a way. Just grab it, grab a paper towel, just ball it up. Dip it in there like that and do the same thing. It all works. It all works. So we're just gonna go around and do it around like that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just smashing it. If you can see, I'm just smashing the bottom with the top just to make sure that the um, all of the insides, if you will, does not come boiling out. And we are gonna put this pot pie on a sheet pan in the oven so that way if any Thing bubbles out you know it'll bubble out on the uh, sheet pan and not on the bottom of your oven so paper towel there and I'm just gonna push this to the side I'm gonna finish off with my uh, my applicator either one works okay and we all, we went all the way around as you can see then I'm gonna take my fork you can be fancy if you want. You can be quick and easy if you want. But listen, I said we're going to do this thing quick and easy. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go around. And remember, we have extra because it's like I said, I like the pie crust and I don't like throwing things away. So I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to make sure that it's sealed. So that way, as I said before, that none of our in insides, if you will, <laughs> comes out. And you just want to go around all the way around. Uh, until you finish okay so now we went around with the fork and we sealed all the way around now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a knife just like I said this didn't matter because we're gonna put some slits in it anywhere we put slits in it to make sure that uh, their the air can escape the heat can escape the steam can escape so you can you know get fancy with it or whatever but I'm just gonna just do just some nice little slits all the way around Okay, I'm gonna do a nice little one in the middle there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some egg wash again, and I'm going to wash the top of this uh, just to so it can get brown, nice and brown when it goes in to bake. And you do that all the way around, and then you get ready to put it in the oven, okay? Okay, so I have a sheet pan, and I'm just going to put some aluminum foil on it because we're not trying to make more work for ourselves okay we're not trying to be uh doing a whole bunch of washing so now i have the chicken pot pie here i'm just going to sit it here in the middle i'm going to push this up just a little and i'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven and i am going to put it in the oven until it is nice and golden brown so mm, it'll be maybe about a good 30 minutes or so but i'll give you We'll see how long it takes. It just depends. It just depends on how nice and golden brown because everything that's in it is already done. The chicken is really already done. 
the vegetables is already cooked. You just want to make sure everything is married together in love and unity. Since we're celebrating love this week for February and Valentine's Day, we want to make sure that our food is coming together in love. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven and then we'll come back and see how it turns out, okay? Okay, so it has been in the oven for about 45 minutes. I'm looking at it. It's golden brown on the edge, but I'm going to just kind of feel it. And I'm just going to leave it in there for maybe another 10 more minutes. Let me take this knife and I'm going to... I just want to make sure that the, the pie crust is done. And, and it's looking very nice. And I just love... Now, this, this is me. I just love all of the crust that's falling down. I put that on the plate at the bottom and I just... I just dine sufficiently when it comes to the crust. So I'm gonna put it in here for another five to 10 minutes and then we'll take it out and we'll plate it up, okay? All right, our chicken pot pie is done. It's complete, it's golden brown, it's beautiful, it's lovely how I like it. And I want you all to see the final chicken pot pie. Now look how beautiful and golden brown that is. All you need to do now is just cut it and plate it. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just lovely. See the, the egg wash, give it a nice shiny finish. And it helps with the golden brown and just makes it look nice and beautiful. Let me grab something and we're going to just take a peek in there because I know y'all want to see how it looks on the inside and we will plate it up so you can see how it all looks. Okay, I have my knife. Let's go ahead and just cut inside here and I'm just going to you hear that, you see that, all that crust. I'm going to use that crust, I'm going to put it in here. And as you can see how beautiful it's looking. Now you can use a spatula, you can use a spoon, whichever one you want to do. Get it in there real good, cut down. Okay, let's see. let's see if we can work this thing. And just like I said, we're we eating that crust there. So we're gonna pull this out. You can see all that nice steaming, piping hot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chicken pot pie. And we're getting all up in there. And we're just gonna lay this on the side here. Getting all that filling out of there. Okay. And listen, it may not be the prettiest thing but it is tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Look at all that goodness in there. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Our chicken pot pie is simple, it's easy, it's a quick meal. We know we have children in school, we have busy schedules, we working from home, whatever your situation is. We wanna do it simple, easy but we want it still to taste good so i hope you enjoy your chicken pot pie and i thank you so much it's been one year one year and we are looking to continue to grow together as a family i thank you so much for watching i want you to give me a thumbs up i would like for you to comment and i would like for you to share this video sharing is caring share 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 it and let's just be nice to one another how about that um but, but thank you so much for watching koji gucci gal and i hope to see you soon and guess what i love you bye bye all right let's taste it let's taste it mm, that is it mm-hmm I hope you all enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Oh, yeah.